What's up guys? It's your boy. We're going for a ride. We're actually gonna go get my haircut. So uh it's getting long again. It needs to be chopped off because it's getting too long to lay how I want it to lay. Because you know it's gotta look douchey. Now it just looks kind of sloppy. So we're gonna go get that taken care of. And I also am trying a new map. I also am trying a new mic placement. The mic placement I had, the, the audio sounded, you know, like my vocals sounded okay, but it kept spiking for some reason. Like it would, uh, it had a bunch of pops in it. I'm sure you guys have noticed it. Um, I can't find a way to cut it out. So um, I rearranged my mic in another way. We'll see if that helps. If not, then I'll try something different. I'm hoping it helps because I mean, I'm running out of options. Maybe I'll just have to buy a completely new mic, but I, I don't know. I had it in my cheek. So I figured there wouldn't be, well behind my cheek pad, I figured there wouldn't be hardly any wind noise back there. Plus it has a dead cat on it. But I don't know if it was back there jarring around or what. So now it's directly in front of my mouth. So hopefully you can't like hear me breathing. I don't know, we'll see. This is the first time. So this is kind of like a test. We'll see how good or how crap it is. And if it's crap, then this video will be crap audio and we'll try to fix it in the next video. It's all in trial and error, I suppose. So what do you guys think of the new C8 Corvette? You know, I didn't like it at first, but now it's really, it's really, really growing on me. Don't mind my voice crack. I don't know what's going on with me again. I just can't get past this voice crack. I think I'm going through puberty again. I, I don't know. Happened to me the other day too. Um, anyway. I really like the C8. Like I said, at first, I didn't like it. And I still, I don't really, I'm not that big on the rear end, but it's growing on me. It's like when the first, uh, oh, please don't hit me, Jeep. Okay, you're good, you see me. Um, when the, uh, what is it, S550 Mustangs came out, like the new generations, I didn't like them at first. I like the rear end, but they look too bubbly towards me, to me anyway. But now they've grown on me and I love them. So I'm thinking the Corvette's gonna do the same thing. Um, it kind of looks like a 570 and a 458 and a C7 all clusterfuck together, made the C8. So I mean, it, it looks pretty good. I'm excited to see what the Z06 and the zr ones going to look like. I'm sure it's going to look a crap ton more aggressive because right now all they have out is the base model. So, I mean, it can only get better from there, right? Hopefully. We'll see. I'm talking like I'm going to get one, but I'm, I'm not going to get one. Definitely not going to get one. But if I had money to blow, I might. I'd consider it. But yeah, comment below and tell me what you think about them. I'd like to know everybody else's input about them. Dang, they put in work down here. They got one, two, three trucks cutting down these trees. All right. What's up, buddy? I see you, see me, see you. That's what I'm saying. Should we take the R1 to that skate park? Should I ramp it off one of those? Should we do it? I think we should do it. I'm just fucking kidding. There's no way in hell. If I had a bike I didn't care about, oh, for sure I would take it. No doubt about it. There's the nastiest fast food place ever. Home of the, the gut bomb. Well, no, I think that's Crystal. I think Crystal's home of the gut bomb. This is just home of the uh, diarrhea. I just realized I had my signal on that whole time. Oh my god, I'm a noob. Okay, let's be impatient. Do, do, do. We're gonna park in the handicap. Yep. They got all this rest of this room. I just wanna be able to see the bike, you know? Anyway, I'll see you guys when I'm done. Alrighty, and we're back. Let's see how long it takes me to get out of this place. Oh, that wasn't that bad. That was easy. So, I got my hair cut. It looks all nice and neat again. It's not long and shaggy again anymore. Oh, I think I was supposed to turn right there. 
No, yep, sure was. Hmm. This looks like a main road. We'll go down this road and see where it goes. I have no clue where I'm going now. So funny that there I go with my signal again. What the heck is wrong with me? Anyway, funny thing happened when I was walking out to the bike as I was putting my gear on before I turned on the cam the, blah, 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 the camera. There we go. Um this guy was yelling from this like older F-150. Hey man, how much for your bike? And I'm like, what the fuck? So you know, I was like, maybe I didn't understand him properly. So I was like, do what? And then he said, hey man, how much for your bike? And I was like, um, it's not really for sale, but you'd have to give me uh, in the teens to get this bike off me, you know what I mean? He was like, oh, what model is it? It's a 2016. Oh, like, what did you think? This thing was like old or some shit? Like, come on, bro. Um, let's cut through this parking lot. Oh, big speed bump. Really, really big speed bump. We're gonna take the uh, longer way home so we can get it, get at least a little bit more footage, maybe. If this mic actually sounds okay, this might be a wasted trip if it sounds like shit. Hopefully, it sounds decent. I guess we'll find out tonight when I edit it. All right, Jeep, can you not make it up this hill? Like, you need a push. Holy trash, come on guys. Why do people gotta be that trashy? I mean, I get if you're hauling trash and it falls out, but at least turn around and go back and get it. That's ridiculous. It's a nice R3. I like that matte black color. What's funny about the R3s is they look just like the brand new ZX10s. And it's funny because the R3s came out long before the, the generation of the ZX10s that actually look like the R3s. So it's just funny that a smaller CC bike looks like a leader bike. And there's nothing wrong with a smaller CC bike. I don't know why all these, uh, it's mainly Jixer boys, you know what I'm saying? Those Jixer Nation boys. The squids, they uh, they always talk shit about the smaller CC bikes. Like, oh bro, you got a little dick if you got a small CC bike. You gotta get a thousand or fuck off. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah, I never understood that. There is nothing wrong with a smaller CC bike, especially if you're learning or hell, like you guys know, I like riding the R3 sometimes more than I like riding this bike, especially if I'm gonna hit a super curvy road like the Dragon. Dude, smaller CC bikes is where it's at. If you say stuff like, you gotta have a leader bike over a smaller CC bike, that's just because you're trying to compensate for something, maybe like your ego, but. There's nothing wrong with smaller CC bikes and don't let anybody tell you there is. And if somebody does, ooh, can I turn? Oh, okay, I did. I took my hands off the wheel trying to talk with my hands and I'm about uh, fucked up, but it's okay. Anyway, don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Um, you rock that small CC bike if you got to. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, gravel. Um, I mean, by all means, leader bikes, they're fun, they're fast and stuff like that, but they're a handful every once in a while. So you just, you just gotta always be prepared because sometimes the throttle's a little bit more twitchy. I mean, anything can happen on any bike, but a smaller CC bike is just a lot easier to, holy shit, there's a stop sign here. A smaller CC bike is just a whole lot easier to I guess maintain control of, especially if you're inexperienced. Even if you're extremely experienced, you know, a smaller CC bike, you can you can shine a whole lot more on a smaller CC bike because if you're anything like me, like I'm a small guy, like I'm not tall by any means whatsoever. So like this bike, I usually have to one foot it and I'm usually the smallest guy in the group with the fastest bike. That's just how it goes. And so the R3, me having you know my smaller proportions it's like it fits me better and i feel more confident on a smaller bike but I, i'm not saying i'm not confident on this bike because i am 100 
but I'm even more confident on a smaller bike. You know what I mean? It's hard to explain. Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is don't let anybody deter you from getting a smaller CC bike and don't let anybody joke about you, your smaller CC bike that you already have. Don't let them, you know, get inside of your head because there's nothing wrong with a smaller CC bike. If you want to move up to a bigger bike, absolutely do it, but you do not have to. Wow, nice job, guy. But yeah, you do not have to move up to a bigger bike, especially if you're not comfortable. You can always move up to a bigger bike, but don't do it because somebody's peer pressuring you. That's always the worst thing to do. But anyway, uh, that's my rant for the day. Hopefully you enjoyed this short video. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.